over the past few years, I've spent over 50,000 rupees on online courses. Yeah, and today I'll share everything that I've learned through these courses with you so that you don't have to. I saw a bunch of free courses on YouTube, bought courses on Udemy and other websites and some courses were worth over 20,000 rupees. And I've tried to learn everything from C++, Python, data structures and algorithms, competitive programming, machine learning, web development and data science. Some of these courses were amazing while others not so much. I learned a lot through this journey and if I could go back, I would do a lot of things very differently. I'll tell you if you should invest your time and money in these courses and if they are worth it. And in the end, I'll also share my roadmap for C++ if I was just starting again. Here are four things that I've learned about online courses. Number one, they are really beginner friendly. Let's say you don't have the time to go through all the documentations and all the websites and everything and you just want to get started. Online courses are great. They'll put you right in the middle of it, give you all the tools that you need and you'll have your first working program in no time. They're great for beginners to get started quickly. But if you already have some knowledge, you effectively won't gain a lot out of these courses. I realized this when I picked up an intro to Python course when I was really comfortable in C++. Most of the topics were really redundant to me and I would have rather spent the day reading the documentation instead of going through the course. Number two, the quality of problems. Since these courses are aimed towards beginners, they do have a lot of questions that you can solve. But usually these questions aren't enough. I mean, no company will ask you to just reverse a linked list. Lucky you if they do, but the questions will be a lot more difficult. You'll need to solve a lot more and a lot harder questions along with the ones you're solving in the course. Let me explain. So let's divide the questions into beginner, easy, medium and hard. The courses you take will take you through beginner problems and a few easy questions but barely any medium or hard questions. But when you'll go for interviews, you'll realize that most of the questions are medium with some easy and hard questions here and there. Can you see the problem we are getting into? I learned this the hard way. Not because I didn't know how to code, but because I didn't prepare enough for these questions. Even if you complete the course, you get the certificate, you still aren't ready for a bunch of companies because you need a lot more practice. And that is if you complete the course. Which brings me to the next problem. Most people quit. I remember when I started learning, like the responsible individual I am, I got a bunch of free courses and I completely forgot about them. Fast forward a few months and I still had no progress to show for. And it's not just you or me. It's really difficult to stick to a course and complete it properly. Like I remember the courses that I did complete properly and thought, wow, this was amazing. Well, majority of the people in my class never completed that. I could see their progress in the leaderboard. The fourth problem is that most of the content is free. So like I could do that right well technically yes I was in the same boat as you I thought I'll be able to complete it myself so I started watching YouTube tutorial after tutorial tutorial after tutorial some of them were okay and some were really really bad I remember watching a tutorial writing the code with no knowledge of how that code is working internally and it compiled and it was working but I had no clue how it was working I didn't learn anything I could understand what the code was doing but I wouldn't have been able to write it from scratch because I didn't know how anything was working it felt like I've jumped directly into season 5 of a show where everything is going on but you have no idea who anyone is then I thought about reading documentation and websites and blogs and honestly that was really really boring I needed a specific roadmap so I can start from zero and end up with a job something that goes step one step two step three that I can just tick mark and be done and remove all distractions. I was so overwhelmed with the amount of free information that I had that I didn't know what to do of it. So this is when I decided to go with paid courses. They really helped me and I think they can help you as well if you don't have the time and the energy and the discipline to go through everything on the internet and filter out important information and you want to learn something on a deadline, get a project out, just get it done. I have had a lot of benefit but that might not be a case for a lot of people. So if I could go back right now and I had to start all over again, I don't think I'll invest that that much amount in courses but I'll surely take some basic ones and then I'll move to solving questions on lead code and then reading about those questions on geeks for geeks or watching YouTube videos. There is enough information on the internet to prepare for any and every interview. The problem arises when you don't know what to study, where to study and how much to study and it gets overwhelming but all you need is a proper roadmap that guides you through everything along with the questions to solve after every topic. So I made one. I went through the curriculum of all the courses that I had paid for wrote down all the important things that I used and made this roadmap using that knowledge with my interview experiences and my company experiences and you can download it for free using the first link in the description. I'll also send weekly tips on technical interviews, programming and growing a YouTube channel. Signing up for my newsletter, the link is down in the description. Also, if you want me to personally guide you one-on-one, -on -one, well, I have opened up slots and you can click on the link down below to book one-on-one -on -one time with me. I don't know how long I'll keep it open and there's only a limited number of slots. So, see you. Bye-bye.